Disclaimer, this doesn't reflect my opinions on any of the curses, it's just stating what you should expect from someone using them and what your curse might say about you. Note the might, as not everyone behaves the way I say they do. Most will though. Finally, there may be two or three types of people using the curse, and if that's the case, I'll cover all the stereotypes for that specific one. On to the video. This guy could be one of two people. The first is a day one noob who knows nothing about the game and probably struggles moving their character from point A to point B. They're never solo, but their friend isn't much better than them. There's a 50-50 chance they'll shoot on sight or not notice you. The second type has other curses but prefers to look simple and piratey. You gotta respect their decision to look like a pirate in a pirate game, but do so from afar as they've got at least 500 hours played. They typically sail on a galley with 1-2,000 to 2, hours sweat, so stay away, they'll dive down or portal hop if no one's around. This guy could also be one of two people. One is a new player that got this in record time. I would say that they recently came to the Sea of Thieves with nothing but the shirt on their back, but I've never seen a new Ashen Curse have her wear a shirt. They'll typically use the Ashen Pants and Boots as it fits the vibe and isn't locked behind endless pain and suffer. The other variant of person with the Ashen Curse is a triumphant sea dog. They love the arena and hate Rare for closing it to work on Everwild. They always put up the fight of a lifetime but sink milliseconds towards you. They're pretty nice too but they'll get heated at people who third party hourglass fights. So, what would you like to wear? I'll use the uh, shirtless and coral curse of the Pirate Legends stuff, specifically minus the eye patch and hook. How original. Oh, the energy sword in this beard too. Daring today, aren't we? Oh, don't forget these outfits as well. Those with the coral curse equipped have fashion sense and even game sense. They probably get carried by the same person who grinded journals so they can swoop in last second and do the voyage. They're not very good at PvP, but they're a good target to pick on for loot as they'll get a lot of it. Oh, and they're probably Pirate Legend too. These guys are usually the most chill players on any server. They're at least decent at the game and they'll never lose their crap over a toxic crew. They're also never fat. All I have to say. Barely anyone uses the gold curse now. This is a dying breed of TDMer. They love hourglass, love three or more boat TDMs, and hate boots. They also love to hate this game and they constantly give rare sh for anything they do. They're always around level 40 to 70 in one faction and 10 in the other. I really should make another stereotype video about skeleton curse cosmetics. I'm sort of painting with a broad brush here, there's lots of different stereotypes for this one curse, but people using this are pretty energetic most of the time. They'll treat their crew with respect, but be a douche towards others. There is also two types of people with this curse. The first type is a veteran that isn't very good at the game. They're usually distinguishable by their sovereign hat and daring deceiver beard. They might use a facial scar too. They usually take forever to do a regular skull fort, but get sank by players after completion. Because of this, they're broke. The second type is a Twitter user, always posting pictures of their character in the silver or sapphire blade outfit on social media, always using the basic legend hair. They also have all three of the funny blue items because they're popular on Twitter or Instagram. They've got really good cannon shots, but pretty trash gun aim. These people are always doing Reaper Hourglass because they're not satisfied with just one PvP curse and don't like the stranger's clothes. They're incredibly good, however, and always hit shots with the sniper. They're also nice, but can't go 5 seconds without bragging about their curse. There is a group of players that don't, but it's a minority. Oh, and they're probably wearing the Rising Morningstar pants. Grass. These people are so goddamn tired of Hourglass, and rightfully so. They're very nice people, but since Season 8, I've only met two. Thanks to Captain Bones and Mafia Shrek for helping me with this. Like and subscribe, it helped me out a lot. Let me know if these videos are good because I'm considering clothing stereotypes next. There is a brown and green version of the Scrapper's Vest that only fits fat characters. Thanks for watching.